up to what? Up to <laughs> Get our energy, okay? This is ninth house transit, Venus and Pisces video. All right, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Lemme, here. I'm back with another reading. If you're interested in a personal reading or you're looking for a personal astrologer, my services are available. The link will be available in the description box below, okay? Thank you so much for tuning into this message, and I hope it finds you well. Okay, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It definitely will benefit all who need to hear this message and can receive this message. And definitely thank you again for coming. So um, this Venus and Pisces has a lot to do um, with the exaltation of love, which is being blind to um, boundaries and going fully all the way in. And ninth house has a lot to do with spirituality. So um, this is the house that con connects us with our personal journey and the journey that we came here um, to manifest with the universe, okay? So with that boundless, effortless, free giving energy of true love um and then it's a water sign so it's also like psychically feeling who and what needs you know that extra love that extra care um you may be more adapt to sharing that with people um when it comes from a spiritual um basis which is basically helping them to see that you know they're not any lesser than the next person. And you may be experiencing receiving messages of synchronicities showing you that about yourself as well. 144 on the clock. So um, this may be a new shift or a new period into your spirituality that you may be experiencing. And you want to remain open um, to what the universe has in store for you. Um, also, um, you also uh, want to be careful to stay grounded. Um, find some grounding techniques, whether it's a breathing technique or just trying to find a way to reconnect with nature at this time so that you have the balance of both allowing yourself to um, project out astral travel and see what um, your spiritual guides or your ancestors, what answers they have for you. And at the same time, being um, practical in your day to day. OK, so the first question we have here is where's your money success? We have the hermit. OK, Virgo energy, right? Number nine, wisdom, noon or none. And we have the tower for what are you attracting? OK, definitely a spiritual awakening coming through and the shadow work or sign that you're being triggered. We have the four of ox. OK, and this is the cancer card, right? So Venus and Pisces overall transit energy. We have the warrior of scarabs energy. The chair is here, here. So this is the warrior. It's kind of like the knight in this deck. Okay. So with the warrior of scarabs being at the bottom, this is someone who's ready for battle. They're ready to go out. They have all the tools that they need necessary. So this is all about preparation as well. But you're walking into... It's like having your book bag, having your notebook, your pens, your, the necessary, um, you know, syllabus. Like you've read all of that. You've done the preparation for this college course. And now you're about to walk through the hallways into the classroom for your first day of class. Right. So and this is a spiritual class. Um, you could be starting college as well. Um, because the ninth house is about higher learning, okay? So um, basically, you're starting a new course or a new um, degree in spirituality for you personally and what that means for you, okay? So when it comes to your money success with the, uh, I was about to say with the Pharaoh, <laughs> with the hermit being here, um, Virgo energy, hmm, interesting, um, you may definitely well be very well um, paying more attention to what the universe is 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 telling you directly because I feel like the message is going to be more obvious rather than subtle for you moving forward because um, you know Pisces and Cancer energy they um, it's a natural trine so it's very easy for you to relax and just sail through this period without any fighting or any challenges at this time but you want to make the most out of it by being engaged with the energy because you'll get a lot more out of it because the next transit is going to square your energy 
okay so um basically you want to just use this period especially when it comes to money to prepare yourself okay what do i need to be doing right now asking spirit what do i need to be paying attention right now when it comes to my money and where i should be investing my energy of money into what do i need to be the most focused on and what secrets lie within me to help maximize the potential of money success that i can have at this time because all your answers are within so moving on to the second one is what are you attracting we have the tower so there could be like an um, unexpected attraction that may take place an unexpected relationship that may start to happen between you and another person or you could just be having an unexpected um sign that's being given to you that you absolutely cannot ignore um from your ancestor um this could be a message of death or doom or this person could be someone you know that passed away they may be giving you a direct message to do something that you're you wasn't expecting to actually hear i can also see this too with this tower card um this is about removing old foundations so you it may be time for you to get rid of you know, old foundations or old thought patterns that were built on who you used to be because you're walking into a a spiritual upgrading session that take you out of your comfort zone and put you into a more holistic view of what the universe has to offer you. So if you haven't been dating or if your relationships have been kind of like at a stalemate position um, this new entry of information that's being downloaded to you will actually give you a more broad view on how you can do relationships moving forward. And um, I think a lot of people will be taken aback <laughs> by your willingness to either make amends or have a new type of relationship with them. Um, it may shock them and maybe you may even be shocked by yourself <laughs> by um, what type of relationships are available to you at this time but it's because spiritually you're in a higher place or that person spiritually may be in a higher place so it's now time for you to reconnect or just connect period with those who are on the same spiritual plane as you to help you continue to grow and um, you may find a new avenue of study um, that may actually help heal um, the love you have for yourself in your spiritual journey. And that can actually bring someone into your life that may be a love interest, okay? So the shadow work or the trick here is the four of ox. And that's basically um, just not sitting around feeling bad or sorry for yourself. Um, that can trigger you. People treating you like you're a charity case. That can definitely trigger you as well. Um, because they may not understand fully the spiritual, you know, plane of existence that you're on right now because you may be on a natural high spiritually or you could actually be getting high. <laughs> but it's basically like people are basically trying to say, like, to ask you if you need help and you're like, no, I don't need help. Da, 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 da. And it could be very easy to cut into people who may not understand your way of healing or needing time alone to just be with yourself and checking in on you to make sure you're good even though spiritually um you're going to new heights and it's best that you go through those different transformations alone but other people are not aware fully of what that is and what that may mean for you so when they do come and they do check in with you um it's not so much as a pity party is just to ensure that you know that you're well loved and you're you're they're reaching out to you because maybe their ancestors are telling you to go say something to that person and it may be you so be very wise um using your discernment and um how you respond to people who only want the best for you who only want to reach out to make sure that you're good and you're okay okay um i also see this shadow work or this trigger here is to um, be careful who you offer your compassion and your love and support to as well um, because you could um, be over giving of spirituality and um, higher knowledge to someone who just will never understand or they'll just never give it or they'll never get it completely um, they'll always have a block or some type of limitation on themselves and i'm um, hearing sagittarius like don't keep 
trying to don't cast your pearls before swine okay if people don't understand it they don't get the 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 um if they don't get it they just don't get it okay and it's time for you to move into you know more circles because you're on your way to being put in occupation or um your job may actually end up eventually bringing you a lot more people that you may come across that um are more aligned with your purpose for being here and the people that you are now around here now um you may feel a bit of pity or sorrow for them just like jesus did like you know forgive them father for they know not what they do they not be not, not might not be very conscious higher they not they may not be very aware of their higher consciousness as you are but don't waste all your time trying to fulfill that void for them they have to do the work on their own so um with this hermit call we have the knight of wands okay this is about you getting um ready to go back into you know like i was saying with college going back to school going back into learning something um finding something that you're truly interested in that you know your inner being is trying to light the way to show you so and that may be excited enough for you during this time to go ahead and dig deeper into um yourself now with the tower moment we have the chariot okay this is cancer energy cancer this is your card here if you are a cancer sun or cancer rising this is your card so um when it comes to a vehicle someone may be having vehicle trouble um you may be having trouble with um transportation or something like that um i feel like this is a sign for you to be very cautious during this time when it comes to driving, if there's any reason why you or another person does not have a vehicle, it's more than likely to keep you safe and keep you out of trouble or away from danger. So, um, of course, take the practical steps that you need to do to get you where you need to be, um, especially with this warrior of scarabs, because um, this could be like you going to work or you're having issues getting back and forth to work or someone else could. Um Take the practical steps to what you got to do to resolve the issue. But just know there's no need to rush because victory is assured with this tower moment. When something very unexpected happens, just know victory is assured. Just get through the um, situation as practical as possible. But, rem but remember, spiritually, whenever you have a delay or a setback that you're not expecting, it's because you are being granted um, grace to really analyze certain people or situations that you're currently dealing with and really weigh on the scales. Because um, Ninth House does have to do with physical justice, um, not just serving it in a community setting. So um, if it has to do with law or any um, uh, law contracts or um, um, anything having to do, I'm keep saying law, but it really has to do with like going to before a judge or anything like that like a speeding ticket things like that really take a look at the fine print and if there is a delay like really ask yourself like or ask spirit to help guide you through this victory to figure out what is the best solution to resolving this issue or you know because i feel like your sight regarding a specific situation can really be blocked and you may want to pull back especially with this trigger this person may have triggered you to pull back your energy and say fuck them they on their own but spirit might be guiding you to still you know be of grace and be of mercy and still extend that olive branch to them and it's up to you with this knight of wands to um figure out why with this hermit card that spirit would have you in a position where you still have to be the guru or the teacher to show this person the path even though they may have disrespected you or crossed the line with you okay so um and we have the empress yes okay this person may be a mother or you may be a mother or you may need to um show this person what being a mother and motherhood is truly about okay and it doesn't have anything to do with money and clothes and taking them different places and things like that it has everything to do with you know knowing from um foresight what's what's going to be best for the child whether a small or adult moving forward than trying to give them instant gratification and we got the uh, seven of uh, swords at the bottom so this new moon in aquarius could have kicked off um some new insights or new relationships 
um, or new insights on the relationship that you have right now. You may be looking to shift and change the type of relationships you have. And the Venus and Pisces transit is going to show you why it's very important to, you know, use them psychic gifts that you were given. Use the psychic the psychic powers that you have practice virgo with this hermit energy practice every day um which are even with your money okay cancer and cancerian energy is very good and lucky when it comes to um, when it comes to numbers um because numbers are vibration vibration like water okay so use your psychic ability to practice with numbers including your own numbers your money Find some way to use fire magic to um, magnify or amplify your money Okay, and it may come in very well and very unexpectedly big. Um, but a lot of people may be asking for your help or your support. And you know, the Empress is um Taurus energy as well. So you could be dealing with a Taurus who may be asking you or be coming to you for financial assistance, financial support while you're in the midst of trying to repair something yourself. And you may have to tell that person no, <laughs> and you may not want to. But it's because they need to learn how to be more self-sufficient and more independent without you. It doesn't mean that you, you don't love them or you don't care about them. But it does mean that if they're an empress, they have the ability to create and manifest their wealth on their own anyway. Um, the fact that they're coming to you mean they may be a bit lazy and they want a pity party, but you don't want to be the person to give that to them. Okay? All right. So um, what advice do we have for the ninth house? Venus and Pisces transit. Okay, we have the calendar. Okay, you're too enmeshed in this situation, so step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking action. Yeah, um, because somebody could be leaving out some very with the seven of swords at the bottom. Somebody could be leaving out some important details that they don't, don't want to share with you because it may make them look a certain type of way. So, you know, you can honor and respect their privacy, but use your you know higher senses, your antennas to help you gauge whether or not this person actually needs the mercy that they're asking for um because if not spirit will tell you okay and um and that's the message i have for you thank you so much for tuning in i hope this message finds you well and until you meet again peace